Hey everybody, good evening. It's December 11th, and this is Rich. You can see me there in the reflection in the window. And this is a special holiday edition of Cheap Red Wine. Today, we acquired our Christmas tree. We got it at Petrucci's, as we usually do. And we've decorated it tonight. And uh, although the, the decorating is still sort of a work in progress, there might be a few more that go on. I thought maybe I'd introduce you to a few of our favorite Christmas ornaments. Sort of a tour of the Wilhelm Christmas tree, just in time for the holidays. So, let's get started, shall we? Here is the Aunt Lisa ornament, which was made by Aunt Lisa herself. So that's pretty special. Notice how it's encrusted with very precious jewels surrounding Aunt Lisa's portrait. Very nice. Here's one that Don and I picked up on our honeymoon in Maine. It's the lobster trap with a seagull on it ornament. Very nice. Uh, Stone Mountain Park. That's a nice ornament. Here's one from my grandma Wilhelm's tree. We have ornaments from both of my grandmoms on the tree and ornaments that uh, my great aunt Kay gave us for our wedding. It's pretty nice. Uh, what would a Christmas tree be without a disco ball. I like how the light bounces all around because of the disco ball. Behind the disco ball is a neon fish. I think that came from one of the crazy ornament competitions that we uh, had there for a while in the family. Here is what we call the cow sickle ornament. We have a couple of them. They came from Aunt Patty and Uncle Dave. They're long um, angelic cow ornaments. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's very beautiful. Here's Mystic Santa. Mystic Santa, we call him Mystic Santa because he seems quite mystical. And we put a bunch of larger ornaments um, in the part of the tree that faces the picture window so that people who drive by can, can notice how beautiful our large ornaments are. Um, you might notice our tree is kind of um, messy and there's no specific theme to our tree. That's the way we like it. We, we like our ornaments to be kind of eclectic, if you will. And each ornament has a memory attached to it. And uh, we kind of like that, like that, that feeling. Here's the George Jones with his breakfast sandwiches ornament. That's one we're particularly, well, I'm particularly enamored of anyway. Here's um, a record ornament. Donna picked these up, I think, at a yard sale um, before she ever knew me. A whole bunch of them. And we've given some to my mom, and um, and we've they've got we have a bunch of them that we have on the tree every year. They're, each record is a is a Christmas song. There's a sumo wrestler ornament. That's one of Jimmy's favorites. That came from a crazy ornament competition as well. And uh, here's the pickle ornament. Now you're supposed to hide the pickle somewhere deep in the tree. It's an old German uh, tradition. That's a game for kids to play. Obviously we've decided to hide it in plain sight uh, this Christmas. Uh, moving down, here's, uh, here's Chris in a uh, I think this might have been a Valentine's Day ornament, but, you know, might as well just put it on the Christmas tree. Chris. I think that's Chris. Is it Chris or Jimmy? Anyway, um, here is uh, a recent ornament that Chris got at Community Day. And here's Jolie. Um, <laughs> tried to get in on the action. This is from Community Day. It's a, it's a Dale Earnhardt ornament that Chris bought for 50 cents at Community Day. Right here in Phoenixville. Okay, so what else do we got here? There's a Looney Tunes ornament. And over here, we've got the Star Wars ornament. And a big fat Santa Claus ornament. And there's Elvis, of course. And the Pope is here too somewhere. The Pope is here somewhere on the train. JP2, that would be. Um, various crystal ornaments. We like to put the crystal ones at the top of the tree because they reflect the light so nicely. 
and the beautiful Christmas Angel, which we purchased in Lancaster at the um, outlet yard QVC outlet outlet yard sale, the place where where things go that will never be seen again if they don't get bought. And we decided to buy the Christmas Angel there. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. It, it, it was a score, and we saw James Buchanan's gravesite the same day, so it double was a score. double score. It was a big day for us. So, um, here's a snowman. Here's a Father Christmas. I, I'm kind of partial to Father Christmases. Um, we did the sumo wrestler. Is there anything we've missed? Well, here's youngest child that Donna's mom gave that to her um, last year because she was the youngest child. She is the youngest child. Um, we probably should point out that all the ones that Chris and Jimmy made are on the tray. Yes, we always put the ones that the kids have, have made are on the tray. Various baby kid pictures. Um, it's just a nice collection, and, and oh. we like it because, like I said, it reminds us every ornament has its own little story attached to it. Oh, can you, um... Well, Chris wants me to tell you something. This. There's a Christopher. Uh, is this and there's a Jimmy ornament like that around here, too, somewhere. It's on the top. It's on the top, Chris says. So... And the fingers, um... Oh, oh yeah, Chris's hand. What's broken? Yeah, some of the fingers are broken, but it's, you know, it's still All Chris, so we still put it up there. So I think that's it. I'm running kind of long here, but um, just wanted to uh, introduce you to the tree. And um, if I think of any others I'd like to show you, I maybe we'll do a, a part car. and a car. Maybe we'll do a part two of the video sometime. But until then, I hope you're all having a Merry Christmas time, Happy Holidays. And as always, thanks for your support.